Shattering glass is a constant sound at the Ripple Glass Processing Plant on Kansas City's east side. And on Earth Day, that's like music to Mike Patterson's ears. I hear it all day long. You know, we shut, we shut the loader off, but I hear the sound of glass crushing again and again. Um, it, it, it sounds like the right thing to do to me and, and the right thing to do for us and, and the earth that we live on. Boulevard beer founder John McDonald and two others from the brewery started Ripple Glass in 2009. They were hoping to make the brewery a zero landfill facility and were also interested in recycling. Twelve years later, Ripple Glass has more than 100 iconic purple collection sites in the Kansas City area that collects about 25% of the glass in the area and also has partnerships with municipalities in nine states. It's very unique in the United States in that it's a voluntary drop-off program uh, to collect glass. While on the cutting edge of glass recycling, both Patterson and McDonald believe there's a lot more that needs to be done to protect the environment. Education is a large part of their marketing strategy. And on this Earth Day, like every other day, they want to raise awareness about the steps people can take to do their part. Glass and aluminum are the best containers for for beverages and uh, we only recycle probably at best 30 percent so there's 70 percent of this material that has great value that's uh, really ending up in the landfills if you take a glass bottle it's 100 percent recyclable one bottle makes one new bottle or a new product so we really try to um, to push the consumer to buy the glass and then return it to us so we can then reuse it. One glass bottle takes about 13 minutes to be recycled into a finished product. Patterson breaks down the process into a few simple steps. It loads into the plant. It goes through a visual inspection. Um, again, looking for cans, uh, metal parts, mostly ceramic. Then it, it enters the system um, and goes through a series of crushing and cleaning and crushing and cleaning until it comes out the other side. McDonald said 45,000 tons of glass gets recycled at Ripple Glass each year. That is a tenfold increase from where the company started in 2009, but it's far from where they want to be. We want to thank all the people that recycle their glass today here in Kansas City and use our system, but there's a lot of people that don't, and we'd love to get them to start recycling their glass because it would help us make this work a lot better. We're looking for other creative ways to get people to join. Uh, join the party, as we say, on the back of the bin. Because um, frankly, we can't keep putting this in the ground. It's got value um, and, and we can turn it into a product that provides uh, um, a cleaner environment for all of us, long term. That 45,000 tons of glass equates to approximately 2 million cases of beer bottles recycled each year. But the company doesn't just want your Tank 7 bottles. They want your mayonnaise and jelly jars too. And one bit of Earth Day advice, avoid purchasing plastic. There's just an abundance of it and lack of demand. On Kansas City's east side, Ripple Glass is at work saving planet Earth one bottle at a time.